What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. So much to talk to you guys about the Nike Elite Camp, the current running situation, and also losing my camera. So first of all, let's talk about the Nike Elite Camp. It was absolutely incredible, and the reason I'm not showing you guys a video of that is because I lost my camera on the way back. I think it got stolen, I'm not totally sure, but I don't have it, and I don't have that camera card, which is devastating because it was easily one of the best weeks I've had. And all the guys are incredible, just hanging out with some really incredible athletes and going down to Nike headquarters. Basically how it works is uh, the top 10 runners in the country get invited to go to Nike headquarters in Oregon. And they you open a Cadillac and they take you to this uh, room, like, like a lounge room in Nike headquarters. They have like food set up for you and couches and they have all these guest speakers and two other professional athletes they have there. Uh, I got to meet Galen, or I got to meet Matthew Sensowitz, Shalane Flanagan, Quigley, and so many other fantastic Nike athletes while we were out there. And they feed you really well and you get, um, and you get like almost a thousand dollars worth of Nike gear and just everywhere you go stuff is set up for you and they kind of treat you like your professional athletes for the week. Uh, the goal behind the camp is to do what Ethiopians do where they bring together all the best runners in the country and they all train together and get to know each other and that's part of the reason why the Ethiopian and the are so good at running. Um, and so I was really glad I got to meet a lot of the other elite runners out there and learn from them and they're just all really good humble people and um, I learned a lot from being around them and what makes them um, as good as they are and who they are. Next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is I have a stress fracture in my foot. I did the Nike Elite Camp and I got back home and my foot was hurting. My foot was hurting when I was at the camp too. I just kind of like pushed through it and then I ran again and it just was really, really hurting. I ran again today at practice and it was hurting super, super bad. And so I finally was like, all right, dad, like what's the deal? My dad's actually an orthopedic surgeon and so he could, can kind of tell me what's going on with my injuries. And he thinks that he thought it was maybe a stress fracture. So right away I got in, got an MRI, and already got the results back. And it looks like I have a stress fracture, which is a really big bummer, obviously, because I'm finally just recovering from my nausea and from my T band hurting and from back stuff and all this other stuff that just made me sit out the last seven months of running. And then running like the last couple weeks, and now all of a sudden it's over again. I'm thinking it's probably because I got into my mileage and intensity a little bit too fast, uh, but not not really that because I, I had a healthy ease up. I think maybe it could also be because I'm not eating the things I should be, which I thought I was, but maybe not. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit to not being vegan anymore, uh, just because my health has been so crappy for the last little bit, and maybe in six months or so I'll reevaluate that. But for now, I think being non-vegan is the way to go. Um, and I'm not saying that that is for everybody. I still think that vegan is a very healthy way to eat. I just wasn't eat, getting the calories and nutrition that I needed. Uh, just because of the sheer amount of food you need as an athlete while you're training and uh, when you're a teenager growing as well. Obviously that's a really big bummer for me as an athlete just because I was getting so excited about this year and my goal is it's my senior year. Um, and it matters a lot for college and scholarships and, and also just for my own goals individually and with my team. and. Um, and I have yet to run a race, a race that I've actually trained for while I've lived in Utah. So it's definitely a bummer. Running is what I love to do and that's being taken away from me again. So by the time I actually get back to running and racing, it'll have been almost a year, um, which is a really big bummer. But I don't know what to do. I just have to do my best and to get through that and try to stay positive. I think when you get injuries, it's really critical to recognize that there's other things in your life that are important and you have to pursue some of those other things. As far as the vlog goes, I'm gonna keep it up and try to make some interesting videos and, and even start making more videos. And I'm actually using my brother-in-law's camera right now. He's letting me borrow it. And then I'm probably gonna invest in getting another camera uh, within the week or so so I can keep making videos. And as far as running goes, I could be sitting out for three weeks or I could be sitting out for six months. It's just kind of a, a big question mark for the, um, for the stress fracture. It's actually in my foot on my big toe or um, the metatarsal that's by my big toe, I don't know what it's called. I'll be in a boo for a little bit, but I'm hoping it's three weeks, I'm gonna eat super healthy, I'm gonna cross train a lot, try to maintain that shape. Um, and right now it's not looking like I'll be back in shape to win NXN. Um, I, I'm gonna shoot for whatever's possible, but I just don't know what that is right now. 
and I'm just going to try to do my best and, and hopefully even just try to be running by the end of the season and just try to be in good shape by the end of the season. Um, so yeah, that's the deal. It sucks. I'm going to do my best I can with it. Running isn't everything. And um, I keep having to prove my, that to myself over and over again. I am also going to post on my Instagram a picture of all the different gear we got at the Nike Elite Camp. And um, and yeah, so if you want to go to my Instagram, it's Easton Crude Art if you want to see all that gear and some of the pictures from that trip as well. So appreciate you guys watching and, and supporting me throughout this journey, even though it's been uh, pretty up and down recently. A lot, a lot of down recently, but we'll get back up there for sure.